in the chapter Animal Kingdom and under this chapter today we are going to start with the topics Phylum Cylindrata and Phylum Tenophora. We are going to discuss the salient features and few examples. So let's begin with the lecture. First one is Phylum Cylindrata. This is also known as Phylum Nereum.
Duty and Delicacy. Next is animals are known as sea gooseberries, corn jellies or sea walnuts. Nematoblasts are absent in case of Tenophora. That is why Tenophora are known as Acnidaria. You can see they were known as Nidarians. While they are known as Acnidarians. Next is all are marine and pelagic. What is pelagic? Pelagic means the animals that are found over the sea surface. So either they are marine or they are pelagic. Next one is the tissue level of organization. Exactly the same tissue level of organization. Locomotion is by presence of eight ciliary comb plates on the body surface. So eight ciliary comb plates are present on the body surface due to which locomotion is taking place. Skeletal system, excretory system, respiratory system all are absent. Animals are carnivorous. In case of Tinophora as well, the animals are carnivorous. All animals are bisexual. The life cycle involves free living scientific larval stage. So the life cycle in case of Tinophora is involving a larval stage known as centipede. Next is, it is divided into two classes based on tentacles. Okay, first one is tentaculata and second one is muta. Tentaculata is the one with tentacles, muta is the one without tentacles. So example in the tentaculata is hormiphora and example in the muta is gyro. So this is all about these two phylums, phylum Cinetrata and phylum Tinophora. Revise all these points and make notes, beautiful notes, markers, use markers and make clean and clear notes. Mark the important points as well. In our next lecture, we will take the next phylum.